Well hello people, oh yes, it's Peter here and we're back down in the old man shed. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, you know, this actually hasn't been too bad, alright guys, I mean it's a Saturday afternoon, 4 o'clock, uh, 2nd of November and yet in the old shed I'm still, you know, it's just 17, 18 degrees. So I've had a train going around for a little while. I did have the heater on just to sort of take the you know just the dampness or whatever it was well, it wasn't even damp really but anyway I just got a bit of heat into the shed and uh, yeah and then I had to turn the heater off because I was getting too hot so it's, it's um, I've, you know considering the time of the year it is I can still get down to the old shed but um, I won't be doing it for much you know many more times I don't think so unless we really have a silly mild winter I don't know but yeah so I'll come down here because uh, just to make this film to show you the new um, kit on the, you know, on new kit on the block before, uh, and of course it's this thing, isn't it? All right, I've already, I'm, I don't do unboxings; it's already out. But it's the um, Placer 12-ton uh, YOB crane. Okay, so I'll go into that with you on on the film in a second. I'll put some film clips up. Um, so yeah, well, it's been what three weeks ago now at the Great Electric Train Show. Oh God. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, I only went for the one day and I didn't see much of the show. <laughs> well, because I was talking to you guys, all right? So either fellow YouTubers or, you know, members of the public and everything. You know, oh, you know, uh, it was really fantastic. And so many YouTubers, all right? So many. I'm not going to, right, I'm not going to go and, and upset anybody by forgetting the name. I'm just going to put pictures on. Because luckily Alan uh, and his wife and the grandchild and everything, they, he was taking pictures galore. I think the grandson was taking pictures galore. So it shows us all gathered up and everything. So I'm just going to put a couple of pictures on. And you can see that, you know, I'm standing there with my big gut stack sticking out. Oh my God, dear, dear, dear. I've got to lose weight, haven't I? Dear, oh Lord. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so, um, yeah, rather go for all the names, you can see the people that was in the room. There's so many of us. Uh, but the one name... Well, it's two names, obviously. My best friend, Alan Dragon Junction, obviously. This is when we get to meet up and his wife. Uh, but also Anthony Dodge, all right, and his wife, Joyce. Because he's been trying to come to Getz for the last two years, I think. And uh, last year, he, he had everything all booked. The hotel, the flights, this, that and the other. Then they got COVID, so they couldn't come. So, you know, he, he was yeah, absolutely mortified. So... He was really, he's desperate, he's been desperate to come for the last couple of years, and this time he made it. But then, again, only by the skin of his teeth, because in America they had that big storm, didn't they? So that could well have scuppered his plans yet again. But no, thankfully, Anthony came over, and he was there when I think we had the biggest uh, meeting of YouTubers uh, that I think has ever been, as far as I know, anyway. So that was absolutely great for him. So I was so pleased for him. And uh, yeah, great to meet him. And uh, I know he was absolutely over the moon. Uh, so that was good. So it was worth it all, you know. It was great to to know that he's enjoyed himself, you know. And uh, he's done it. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic time. Fantastic. I think the only... Uh, treated myself, I think, just to more couplings from the West Hill Wagon Works. That's really what I was interested in, just to keep my stock going and everything but uh yeah and the parking app worked you know do you remember this, what i was talking about this this ringo thing i was nervous about well when i got there i uh, drove around to the far car park and there was you know hundreds of spaces to pick from it was really you know great sort of pick me spot park the car underneath one of these lamp posts that had all the details of what to do so sat in my car got my phone out launched the app said what's your location so i'll you know press the location thing and then that's when it's i thought that's when the panic set in a little bit because it was like you know uh, thinking 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 you know nothing was happening and i thought oh blimey there was a signal but it you know the, the map the location map it just didn't respond and i thought oh god it doesn't know where i am and i, I was just going to sort of like kill the app to do something else and boom all of a sudden a picture appeared it said, is this where you are? And it had the number on the lamppost and everything. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's the number and everything. So I pressed, you know, clicked on the tab, came through, said, your car, is this your car registration? So, oh, yeah, that's it. So, 
right, how long do you want to park for? So <laughs> did it that all day, all day uh, parking, and the amount pa said paid, and that's it, and it went through. So it successfully, you know, paid your thing, and it's been what maybe three weeks now. I've not had a letter in the post summoning me for a <laughs> lack of payment for a parking, so it worked. Oh dear, so there, so now I know, but. I tell you what, I wasn't alone because you know that where I was in my part of the car park was fairly empty, and I could see the the few people that were parking, and they're all looking at their phones, and they're all looking at the lamp posts, and you know what is it we got to do? And, you know, so I wasn't alone. So yeah, it's, it's this this parking business now, but still, anyway. So great show, fantastic. I had no voice when I come back. Um, but yeah, great. But I don't think, I can't remember. I mean, the only time I've seen the layouts is by looking at YouTube videos of people putting up the layouts because I didn't really have a lot of time to go around. Hey ho, maybe it's got to be two days again next year, but oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh dear, but at least I know what to do with the parking next year. I won't, I won't be so uh, worried about it. Um, right, so that's it, guys. So this is it, first uh, video since then. Um, it's the show off the new piece of kit and then some just running clips of me you know playing with my little magnetic coupling that I've developed you know and I'm, I'm over the moon about it because you know uh, I can ha I can have the best of all worlds my my locos can be all detailed up and yet I can still pull trains and uh, still have them close coupling I think I've got a little box here so it's, those, see, I don't know if you can see that inside there are all of my little magnetic couplings. So let me pour it out into my hand, maybe. So there, look, on my hand, you see? Because I've done, I'm making them now with various lengths. So, you know, if I, if I if I put one on the back of the hook and it's, um, you know, maybe, to, you know, I don't like the gap, it could be reduced. Or if it, the gap needs to be increased, I've got um, a couple of other little sizes now that as I do them, you know, I make them slightly different lengths. And, you know, when I first put it on, I just sort of say, oh yeah, you know, because it's, it's, it's got to get around a second or a third radius curve, don't forget, and yet still be close coupled, so yeah, but it works. Uh, so that's it, so I'll, I'll put some, I'll put a couple of minutes, but otherwise there's not a lot of film clips, guys, because uh, although I've been down in the shed, um, I haven't actually gotten around to be filming a lot, so sorry about that, but um, with this new bit of kit that's arrived, I thought, just wanted to show you, and... I've got the luxury of being able to show you against the old the resin kit. That was the only other um, model of the crane that was out there. And uh, I've had the uh, I went to um, my old railway clubs. We had a show a week or so ago at the uh, Forest Hill, and they had um, a backman stand there. And so I had a word with the backman representative, and he, he had a suggestion box. So I've ticked in it, I sort of said, more engineering stuff, okay, you know, because if you're into the modern rail uh, scene and everything, I mean, like the tamper wagons and things like that, well, they're all HO scale, okay, so you, you pay an absolute fortune for, yeah, working tamper wagon and things like that, but at the end of the day, it's HO. You might paint it in Balfour Beatty colours, but um, I've, I've got the old Balfour, uh, the old tamper wagon over there, and it's HO, even though... It's sold as double O or HO. Well, it's HO, it's small, but I did a couple of th things to it to make it uh, taller by putting a roof on it and one thing and another. So it's still sitting on the thing, but yeah. So I said to the Backman guy, I said, you need to do more engineering stuff, you know, for, not just um, yellow uh, coaches and everything for the, tr you know, uh, engineering trains and everything. We actually need things like the crane and another infrastructure that you get on the on the railway. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. Right, okay, enough waffling, guys. So thanks for tuning in again. It's great to be, you know, make a video again after a few weeks. Um, if I did see you at Gets, well, thank you very very much. And all you other YouTubers at Gets, it was great to meet up with you. Some people I'd never met before, so that was great. You know, uh, it was really really good. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic day for me, anyway. Um, but that's it. So I'm um, going to leave it for now uh, until we you know, make another video later on, OK? But until then, guys, <laughs> all the very, very best. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye guys. Bye-bye.
Right guys, okay, the Plasir 12 ton crane. Uh, this one is a resin kit from Mark at Make Your Mark Models. Commission build, very expensive, but it was the only thing out there at the time. And uh, But nevertheless, uh, a very good uh, resin model kit of the crane. Um, it's paired up with a Alpha BT wagon because um, if you've seen my layout before, this one has been fitted with an ender train lamp. So I have it running around behind the wagon there. And the electronics for the uh, flashing lamp, which is at the back there, is in the back of the wagon. Alright, there's the flashing lamp. Um, even though it was a kit, you know, there was extra things that I added to, such as the vac pipes the uh, hydraulic lines there which weren't there on the model um, so just to give it the, the other thing everything else was fitted to the model though so not bad at all really quite good detail and more importantly right up to date because it's in the Balfour BT colour scheme and but you know she's been a, a, a solid performer now on Torridon Road for you know two or three years now since I bought it the price of a good uh, sound fitted loco, that give you an idea of how much they are. Um, yeah, and it's got, you know, if you're after one, it'll have to be a commission build again. So, you know, they're not off the shelf, needless to say. But now, of course, that's all changed because New Kids on the Block from EFE Rail is the one I've gone and got myself. I'll bring it in, which is this one. And there we are, let's see them side together. There we are. Damn fine detail. Really, really, really good. This one does come with the hydraulic lines already attached and even more detail everywhere. There's the pipe work. Yeah. Um, that pipe work there is moulded in the model, but it's in the colours of the surrounding plastic. So um, I've seen some real pictures, they're like black hydraulic lines again, so I've painted them black. Um, but otherwise, absolutely fine. Wonderful model. Again, now I've got a coupling, taken off the uh, tension lock couplings, I've got uh, Hunt magnets on here. Um, I've put the hook on the back, I've put the vac pipes in, but I've had to cut the vac pipes down so that the coupling can swing side to side. But this one will be running, not as an end of the train, but in between two wagons, if I do decide to run it. Now, the elephant in the room, I guess, you know, these are new models. They've produced them in the uh, uh, yellow British Rail colours. And, of course, this one here, which is, um, why is this called what it is? It's, uh, let's have a look. It's. It's the Jarvis Fast Line colours, okay? And then, but why didn't they do one in Balfour BT? Well, the clue is the fact that uh, that wagon there in Balfour BT colours is a Hornby product. This, believe it or not, is supposed to be a coach in Balfour BT colours, which again is a Hornby product. So I think that's the giveaway, guys. It's all down to um, have they got the license to have, you know, the Balfour BT branding on the crane. I'm hoping that they do get it because I will probably go out and get another one. I think it's a damn good model, actual fact. There is a difference, funny enough, between this one and this one. Um, the Hattons, this was going to be originally done by Hattons. And it really, this, this resin kit really does um, closely um, fit the Hatton's um, CAD drawings and even the pictures that Hatton's put up back in the day. So it's, um, it, there's differences. There's a, um, a handrail on the other side of this um, uh, crane, uh, which is not on this one. So, and, and yet, you know, this one should have a handrail. This one maybe not, don't think so. So there are some differences. It's quite amazing, really. You know, in the time that they've produced, they did change them a bit. But no, got nothing at all in uh, criticism against the model. Really, really good. If you're a modern, um, you know, into image, modern image outline, 
I think they are a must have. Uh, just a shame that it couldn't be in the Balfour BT colours for now, maybe in future, but hey, you know, so what? That's why I went for this one, because this is the last, the latest one, the two obviously yellow British Rail ones that the uh, EFE Rail produce, you know, they're they're on, uh, I think, preserved lines now, so, you know, but at least, at least this one came a little bit more up to date, uh, but then, of course, it was replaced by that one. So there we are. So yeah, new new product for Torridon Road. Um, I won't have them running together. I'll either run that one as it is, as I normally do, behind you know as an engineering train. But this one I'll show you in a second now with the way I've got it running uh, with two wagons top and tail in it because so, the other one wagon's got an end of train lamp on, so that's good. Um, I had a word. Went to a model railway show. My local club gave up at Forest Hill a couple of weeks ago. There was a guy from Batman there, and I said, why, you know, couldn't you have done it? And that, and it was him who actually said about the licensing. They didn't have the license, Balfour BT, you know, uh, for the Balfour BT scheme, because I think Monsieur Holmby has got that, and uh, whether or not they're going to let that go, or, or who knows. So that's why, all right? So that answers your question, because obviously everybody's probably asking, lovely model, can't we have it? as a current colour scheme. Not yet, you can't. <laughs> still, but still, it's, it's still great. I'm having it running around like that. Um, yeah, very, very pleased with it. Good price for a lot of detail on it. Yeah, can't can't knock it. I know the Dean Park says that on the actual size of the cab, there's a window missing uh, on, on this model. That one, as it happens, the window is there so that the operator could see the jib you know, not just from the front window, but from the side. For some reason, rather, they didn't incorporate it into this one. But I'm not going to um, do anything about that. I'm not going to sort of take the cab off and cut a, cut a window out or anything. It is what it is. I'm, I don't mind. Same with the uh, the drum. I know Dean Park, he's taken the drum off because he said, oh, they, you know, I don't know what that drum's doing there. No sooner has he done it, and people started sending in pictures showing this crane with, with the with the drum in place. So yeah, don't do anything without checking with people first. All right, there's always someone who knows, isn't there? <laughs> this one doesn't have a barrel. All right, the space is just there, but it's no barrel there. Uh, so there you go. There's differences all the all the time. But otherwise, very very comparable. As I say, that that's a resin kit, and it really stands up well against you know the uh, the big, you know, factory-made uh, model. I mean, the things like the steps on the bogies and everything are much finer, a little bit chunky on the resin kit one. But, uh, it, you know, it's all right. You don't notice these things too much until another one comes along, which is, you know, done to a finer scale. But there you are. But, I mean, look at that. The jib and everything is not bad at all between the two of them. OK. So, um, yeah, I'll have, these, I'll have this running around showing you you know how I'll be running it if I'm going to run it around. Okay, catch you later. Right before I have it running around, I just thought I'd show you this side, the uh, the differences. So on this model, I had to put a handrail on because it, it didn't come with a handrail. This is the resin kit. However, you can see in the cab there is a light coming through because there is a window there in the cab. Okay, so that's. Uh, they, they, that was correct on the resin kit on this model and there she is on this side so there's no handrail it's a different sort of um, thing to do with the with the rails as such and in the in the cab there is no window on the side of the jib um, evidently the cab is just a push fit on but I haven't tried to get it off because I'm not going to worry too much about it but I just thought I'd show you the uh, you know the other side of of the wagon of of the crane, very good because there is a difference between the two, but you know um, this one does um, look like the Hatton's uh, version that they was going to produce, whereas you know this one the fast line one, um, a slightly different. But as I said, excellent excellent model. So. I mean, things like the little extra details, a bit like the jib angle indicator there and things like that. You haven't got that on there. Oh, well, there's something, but it's not, it's not um, 
it's not got all the uh, wording and everything. That's actually got that's actually got some little figures on that one, I believe. Uh, has it? I don't know. Uh, I thought it did have. Did it zoom in? Yeah, look. I mean, look at that. It's nicely detailed, isn't it? Really, it's it's you know, smashing model. I mean, look all the moulded extra height work and everything, but still. But I did I did pick out that mouldings the black on that on the uh, on the hydraulic here on the top of that tank because it looks like hydraulic. But things like the lamps that's in the end there and everything, oh, you know, really good. But as I say, so on that one on this model though, I put couplings on both ends. Fitted them with the uh, vac pipes, but then had to cut them down so that the couplings will work. Um, the original crane is always permanently attached to its wagon because of the end of train lamp workings go through. There was no room to put any of the electronics needed for the end of train lamp in that. It's a, you know it's a resin kit, so yeah. But very very happy, very. So new kit on the block, as I said. So let's let's uh, show you it running around. It looks quite nice.